Congresswoman Maloney, you've been a friend for Greece and Cyprus for all these years. Uh, how important it is uh, to stand by uh, our side on these very important issues such as the Cyprus issue. Oh, it's, it's, it's so tremendously important and that is why I traveled to Cyprus uh, this summer as a part of a congressional delegation that was headed by Ileana ross Layden, the former chair and leader of the Foreign Relations Committee. And we met with uh, President Anastasiades and many other ministers, uh, but I, I appreciate very much the president's uh, can-do spirit, where he, he feels and I feel that it's long overdue and that a settlement should take place. We toured the dividing green zone, which is so sad. You can see literally trees growing up out of the houses that were once uh, very beautiful on all of this wasted space and energy. And we went to Famagusta and Varusha, and it's a ghost town, uh, just totally deserted, such a lost opportunity. Uh, so it has been too long. It's time for a peaceful settlement. I am hopeful, as is Vice President Biden, that with the discovery now of the new energy and that whole new aspect, that there can be a compromise and agreement finally made with uh, Erdogan and with uh, the Turkish Cypriots and, and, of course, with the Greek Cypriots. It's, it's long overdue. But any agreement must have the invading troops off, off the island. It's a small island. What are they doing with 40,000 troops on this island? It's just crazy. And it's really wrong and unfair. And it invaded in 1974, and it's too long. It, I am hopeful. Do you think uh, we have the conditions to go for a solution? We have, of course, Switzerland in a few days. Uh, there is all this... Uh, uh, discussions taking place. Do you think that it is the time for a solution, a time for a fair solution, a viable solution for uh, the Greek Cypriots? It is time, with the talks coming up in Switzerland, for a fair solution, a just solution uh, for the Greek Cypriots. The suffering has gone on too far and too long, and it's a, a wasted, uh, wasted opportunity wasted economic development, wasted uh, quality of life. When you tour Verusha, it's like a ghost town. When you tour Famagusta, the same. And yet it's uh, beautiful, beautiful. It used to be the most beautiful place in the world to go to. And, and now it's deserted. It's, it's uh, time. And I feel that this time you have the total backing of President Obama and Vice President uh, Biden, who was recently visiting with President Anastasiadis. So it shows that the Democrats have this as a top priority. Uh, the election is coming up in America on uh, November 8th, and I, I think that uh, we are looking forward to getting it over with. It has been uh, the strangest election ever. I, uh, you, you can call it many things, but it is not boring. Boring. And the, the uh, difference between the Republicans and the Democrats has never been deeper or stronger. Uh, so I am hopeful that uh, the election will have Hillary Clinton elected president and that she will continue the pro-Cypriot, pro-Greek Cypriot policies, pro-Greek policies of the prior administration. I will play the devil's advocate role and ask you, uh, do you think there is going to be any difference if we have Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? Oh, there's a big difference. Regarding uh, the Cyprus issue, for example. Oh, I, I know that she will be committed to working for a solution. I, 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 I don't know his position on this issue. And uh, also regarding uh, another issue, the Macedonian issue, the name of uh, Firom. Uh, where are we and uh, how much can we hope for a good solution? Well, every year I put in a bill to resolve the Firom issue that Macedonia is Greek and the name of the name should be settled. As we know, it was the Bush administration the day after the election where they recognized uh, Firom and uh, we have been negotiating to change that and to have a, a modification so that Macedonia is identified as being Greek. This summer I also went to Greece and uh, visited the Parthenon and uh, renewed my dedication 
to work with the Cypriot and Greek Americans to bring the Parthenon marbles back to Greece. And I've introduced legislation to do so. Uh, we've also supported uh, Greece in the negotiations uh, with Germany for better solutions and better terms so that the suffering of the people is not so much. And at OPIC, we got an agreement from OPIC, the Office of, of Overseas Investment, that uh, said uh, that if there are legitimate uh, people willing to invest in Greece, then they will provide their assistance and bridge loans and their help. Uh, so we are continuing to be uh, very, very concerned about Greece and, uh, and uh, the economic uh, reversal and, and upgrade of Greece. And the last question regarding this election. It's a crazy uh, campaign, absolutely. Uh, do you see uh, Hillary Clinton winning? And uh, is there something that you're afraid of from uh, Donald Trump's campaign? Well, I, I would say that uh, I urge everyone to get out and vote. Vote uh, for Hillary Clinton. And I'm asking you also if you would vote for me. I uh, worked hard not only on uh, the Cypriot issues and a peaceful settlement and Greek issues, but also in this community in Astoria, Queens, and have been successful in putting up uh, three senior housing uh, for living for seniors through Hannock, uh, the uh, organization started by George Duras, a, an incredible uh, Greek leader who uh, did so much for our city. But we named one of the houses after him. One is named Yakovos, and one is uh, where the Presbyterian Church used to be. But these three sites, uh, I worked very, uh, very hard with Angie Duras and others. We also built the park on 31st Street for better entrance into, into Queens and into Astoria. And uh, also the, the connection between 31st Street and, uh, and Manhattan, the 63rd Street connector, was uh, one of my infrastructure projects. So I'm, I'm proud of my work here in the community and, and really internationally to support uh, Greek Americans and Greek causes. Uh, I, when I first ran, we became very good friends, and so uh, they have been wonderful friends and supporters to me on a personal level, uh, very supportive when I lost my husband, and very supportive in my elections and to, with my work. So I thank the uh, Greek American community for all that they have done uh, for our great city. I would say for America. They have been a, a group of immigrants that have come to this country and made this country better. And uh, we are so grateful to the Greek culture for the idea of democracy, for the values, uh, for the principles of democracy. The least we can do is help the Greek people return to the rightful place, the Parthenon marbles. And I'm going to work on that in the next Congress. I've introduced the legislation to achieve it. Thank you so much. Okay.